First at 11, Tybee's newly elected mayor and council are officially on the job. WSAB Sarah Smith is joining us now with a closer look at the inauguration as well as the future of Savannah's Beach according to its new leadership. Well, there were very few seats left at Tybee Post Theater as several new members of administration took the oath of office, including Brian West, who was named the city's mayor. Four factions to help me come. West served previously as a councilman for one year before running for mayor. He won with 952 of the almost 1500 votes. Tony Plue, Bill Garbett, Nick Sears and Catherine Williams also took their oath as council members. West says he and some of the council members have already discussed infrastructure, biker and pedestrian friendly projects, water system improvements, road access during emergencies, short term rentals and more. He says the council will be careful with what they approve. Our agenda is packed with plans for our future and plans to make Tybee um, a great place to live. Tybee is full. There is no more room for development on Tybee. If you want to develop, we have to tear down something old to build something new. And that's a tough place to be in in a very quickly growing economy in southeast Georgia. And so we have to be very careful to uh, watch what we allow to occur as far as um, increasing um, more and more building on our island. We need to, we need more green space, we need more recreational spaces. And Wes says he will use the most recent former mayor Shirley Sessions, also the first female mayor of Tybee as a resource. She was at, in the crowd tonight as well as U.S. Congressman Buddy Carter. He spoke at the ceremony congratulating the members of council and encouraging them to work together. Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.